Greetings lovely people and welcome back to part 47 of the Switch playthrough on the hardest difficulty. That's our last save. Let's jump into the game. Related to Ciri's reappearance, it had destroyed a vast swath of forest. Geralt set out for the Isles to join the sorcerers and seek further clues of Ciri's whereabouts. Sorry if I sound a little tired. I, uh, I just came back. Just came back home, just taking a shower, eating a little bit, and I'm super tired, and I need to wake up in a couple of hours. So, that's why. Let's see here, the difficulty, of course, always. Enemy upscaling, hardest difficulty is on. Bran was a great ruler. He needs a worthy successor. You speak as though you have someone in mind. Skellige's troubles very much derive from it not being a hereditary monarchy. Any upstart can be king and destroy his predecessor's legacy. The King of the Isles is a more symbolic position. That should change as well. A strong leader who wields true power. That is what the times require. Introduce me. This is my friend Geralt, and this is Berna. Widow of the dear departed Bran. The Queen Mother. It's a pleasure to meet you, Geralt. You must forgive me. But on a day like today, I'm afraid I cannot indulge in my penchant for long conversations. Lovely outfit. You look dashing. Thank you. You're dazzling. <laughs> you know I really missed your candidness. I'm glad we're here together. We should mingle before they all get drunk. There'll be no talking to anyone then. Good thinking. I don't know what Krach wants, but when we meet with him, we should have clear minds. I'm not gonna drink. Why well, dull my senses when I'm in such pleasant company? Do you plan to compliment me all evening? I plan to tell you what I think. <laughs> So this guy here, this is a blacksmith. He sells Ursine stuff or the Ursine maps. Geralt, there's something I've been meaning to ask. Mm. Your beard. Why did you decide to grow it out? Don't really know. Hmm. Must say it suits you. That was very kind of you, Yennefer. Yeah. Lady Yennefer. Sir. Greetings, Arnbald. My companion is Geralt of Rivia. I am honored. Nice to meet you, too. Quite a few guests. They come to bid their king farewell. They come to see the claimants to the crown. We wanted to talk to Krog on Crate. The Jarl will join us shortly. He's assigned you a place of honor at the table just beside his daughter, Ceres. Follow me, please. They've seated us here. I asked them to. Wanted to meet the notorious Witcher Geralt. We've met. Don't remember? That was ages ago. Yalmer and I were children when you last visited Orda. But you should meet your face mates. Allow me the dubious honor. That's Halbjorn, son of Holger Blackhand. Blue boy Lucas, Madman Lucas' firstborn. And choking down a stuffed fish over there is Otric on Hindar. Seems they sell us with the sons of Jarls exclusively. Ceres on Crate is the daughter of a Jarl, Geralt. Jarl's daughters are in no way inferior to their sons. Do you know every last one of them dreams of being Bran's successor? Look at him. Likely lot. Ceres is jealous, for the one among us who performs the greatest feat will be crowned king. <laughs> we all know the feats are a sideshow. Our fathers will choose who will wear the crown. What do you think they spoke to Krat about? You talk like that because you're short of strength and skill. Remember when Hjalmar challenged us all to a race up the mount? You didn't stand with us then. 
as he buried his axe in that stump at the top to mark his victory, you were warming your chicken bones by the fire. Had my reasons for not participating, but I would have won then, as I'd win now. Hmm, now you mention him. Just noticed Yalmar's not here. My brother walks his own paths. But about the race, why don't we repeat it? I'm willing to challenge any of you, Witcher included. If I beat him to the top, venture to say that'll be a feat, eh? So you're in. If the Witcher's in. Geralt? Gladly. What are the rules? Whoever pulls Hjalmar's axe from the stump at the top of the hill wins. Stray off the path and you lose. And here I was, ready to puke from all the boredom. Let's go! We're here. From this spot, you must reach the top of that mount. At the summit, you'll see the stump of an oak. Yalma's axe buried in it. Whoever pulls the axe from the stump first, wins. I'm ready. You'll start when I sound the horn. She's actually not bad. She would beat all of them. Never taken that path that I just took. This would be exhausting in real life. I won, but only by a hair. No such thing. There's winning and there's losing, and I lost. We best go back to the weak. Let's. See the wakes in full swing. Lost sight of you. Who won? I lost. I lost to a witcher, Sparrowhawk. It likely happen to any of us. I like that he said that. For the nather and let's drink. That was nice of him. Can't today, for good reason, believe me. But if not today, then when? You've been great company. Sadly, it's time we moved on. Really? Indeed. We must talk, but not here. You shall learn all beyond that door. Look at the festivities! Shame! Uh, why would I? <laughs> she pushed me. Here. Tell me, Lugos. Allow me to introduce Geralt of Rivia, a witcher. Geralt, Jarl Donar and Hinder, and Jarl Madman Lugos. Calling Lugos a madman's an insult to madmen. He's a common goat fucker. Call me a goat fucker one more time, and I'll chop off your head, stick it on a pike, and piss down your neck hole. Enough! Time to settle this. Here and now. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Give me a true freight right now. Shat my best trousers. Put that away before you cut yourself, you cunt. Thought Skelligers called a truce for feasts. I know the hallowed customs. But Lugos ought to know that I'll not let him raid my Hindus for bear. 
You don't scare anyone, Donar. I'll be by soon to plow your priestesses, drink from your tankard, and shit on your table. Be sure to leave a candle lit for me. Emperor would be very pleased to hear you call. His Imperial Majesty is more than welcome to visit. Let him sail over here. We ain't afraid of the Black Ones. Raiding coastal villages is one thing. Total war with the Empire is another. Awfully mouthy, this one. Go stir your cauldron and pierce some boils, witch. Don't talk when you haven't got a fucking clue. Know what, Lugos? Just realized I don't give a damn about your hallowed rules of hospitality. Finally, some diapers. And here I was ready to puke from all the boredom. Come on, freak. Hmm. Show us what you're made of. Move the benches. So this fight here, just let him hit and just deflect his hit. You will not be able to deplete his stamina. So. Come on, come closer. Just push the uh, the block button right before he hits, and you should hit. And then you can do two hits like that. Had enough? Ah, oh, you got me good. That were quite a wallop. Still seeing spots, room rocking like a leaky tub in a hurricane. <laughs> we'll call it even then. As soon as you apologize to the lady. Don't hold it against me, my lady. It's my deep conviction. Sorceresses are needed. Deeply so. No offense taken. Forget about it. That I like. And the knocking. It's what men do. Give me your paw, Witcher. Let me squeeze. It's a worthy one. <laughs> Witcher, have a drink with me. The proof there's no hard feelings. And visit me at times, I insist. Yaren's been jabbering about bringing in a witcher for that haunted lighthouse. Do me a favor, meet him for an ale in the tavern near Arenbjorn. Then you put a short jaunt to find me, so as we can knock back something stronger. Here's to our next. No hard feelings, but we'll have to drink another time. Yes, we've important discussions ahead. You land rats are all the same. Fear to your wenches. <laughs> hey, what's wrong with respecting your wifey? What now? Now we pay a visit to Ermion's laboratory. Didn't know we'd been invited. Because we'd not been. Take it Ermion won't be there. That's right. And what's the purpose of this visit? We're looking for an object. The Mask of Erberos. We'll need it. Come, Geralt. Now you'll tell me why you need this mask. Oh, I shall. In due course. Take it you'll decide when. Correct. Make sure to check these. Behind the tapestry. Sparrows chip while star leaves chirp. What do jackdaws do? Jackdaws call. 
Goldfinches warble and cranes whoop. Whereas peacocks screech. Hawks scream, larks trill, and doves they coo. That's all of them. Hmm. What about nightingales? All ah, right, nightingales croon. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> this will be tough to open. Surprises never end. See the ravens? Hard not to. Ermion spies. An indication that we're near his laboratory. I also sense a clear magic aura. Come, there's a ledge outside this window. We must pass along it. sights in my life. Geralt of Rivia, being romantic. can render a man mysterious, fascinating. Especially a druid. Must be a real nature lover. alive. A hundred loose an arrow if you saw that in the woods. Had one at Kaer Morin. <laughs> Please. Basin of water. For teleprojection, a reflection of Ermion appears on the surface. Supplicants speak to it. Ah. Are you all right? Cut myself. The door is locked. The animals, they're alive. Yen, watch out. Monsters. I can feel them. Everywhere. Ah, that stench. That's one less. That's one less. Mushrooms in here. No.
What's happening? You were hallucinating. You ran at Ermion's animals, sword flailing. I had to calm you. <laughs> uh, must have looked strange. Your years of vigorous training at Kaer Morn finally paid off. Bested nearly all the stuffed beasts in here. Please. <laughs> Fine. We've passed the trial of taxidermy. The door stands open. Let's go inside, Geralt. I'll lock the entrance. We don't want to raise suspicions. Ah, our dear druid's laboratory. We must search it thoroughly. The Mask of Erberos must be here. The letter bearing Ermion's seal to the druids warns them about you. Wondrous world of insectoids. Ritual plants. Ah, what do you know? Raymond Marlov. A biography enhanced. Seems Ermion has real tobacco brought in. Skelliger's tales about the wild hunt. The islanders believe the wraiths sail on a longship built of the claws of dead men. Pinecone. Didn't expect this. A large female. A child's skull. Look at this. A detailed map of the Northern Kingdoms. Even shows spheres of influence over the ages. Out of date. Laboratory worthy of an Imperial Alchemist. Dwarven Triple Mead. Goes in for light reading, too. The Corpse of Novigrad by Sasha Hadi. A goat carved out of lindenwood, signed to Uncle Ermion. Little Ciri's handiwork. That's what she called him when he was her tutor. Looks like Ermion places something in the statue's hand. How about a mug of mead? Statue or not, everybody needs a drink sometimes. Huh. Seems like it worked. Who would have thunk? Ermion enjoys jests achieved at the expense of others. I have a sneaking suspicion the mask will be in here. A sword and a stone. Things begging me to pull it out. It's not in the stone, don't you see? It's held there by a vice. <laughs> the White Frost. Geralt, come here. I found the mask. This is it. Oh. We've got it. We must return to the feast quickly before. <laughs> Still closed. Gotta think of something quick. Yes? Help! The 
damn druid will poison us. This vapor's deadly. We've got but a few minutes. Teleport us out of here. Think of something. Quickly. First thing to come to your mind. Hold on tight. a needle. <sighs> Wait. For what? We must talk to Krak. Why? Think he misses us? Because I missed you. I missed you too. <laughs> when are you gonna finally burn this piece of junk? My heart couldn't take it. So many memories. Damn it, Geralt. Do you have any idea how much they cost? Come here. We gotta hurry. Croc's waiting. Is that so? Yen, let go of the mane. I know you. I let go, you throw us off. <laughs> He's Don't left. Try. you too. We ought to get back to the wake. I must dress. Turn around. Creator asked about you. We went out for a breath of fresh air. <laughs> the claimants to the throne will step forth in a moment. Now heed my words. There is no greater act of valor than to fight a beast cursed by men and gods. No greater deed than that done to serve the goddess. Words of uncommon beauty. We thank you. And we'll take them to heart. But now, let's begin. We have seen Bran off to the beyond, and must now choose his successor. The king must be wise. A king must command respect. A king must have bollocks. We have no lack of men like that. Let those who feel worthy of the throne of Skellige step forth. son could not be here this day. Behold his axe. Behold his will.
May the best man or woman win. What's got into her? She's your daughter, is she not? Now I know why she said she'll sail to Speakerog. Ah, children! The older they grow, the more trouble they are. Come with me. All the more essential we talk now. How was it, Geralt? when Ciri was nearing womanhood. I remember well her nan, her mother, what they were like. They say the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Ciri was impossible to control, no telling her what to do. Had to have things her own way almost always. Why do you ask? No specific reason. She and Ciri, they're of a similar age. But we'll speak of my children later. First, let's speak of yours. Yennefer claims Ciri's in trouble, and you seek her. That's right. If you require aid, gold, ships, anything, merely say the word. I'll give you all I can. And I know the lass lives. I'm sure of it. When the blood of Rhiannon's daughters is shed, the sea grows white with fury. I'd mark such a storm. Magic anomaly on Ord Skellig somehow related to Ciri, or so Yennefer believes. It's my strong suspicion, but I can only know for certain by examining the site. I saw the twisted forms, right on natural. The druids were barely able to contain it. Explain to me, Yennefer. How Ciri might have caused this great catastrophe. I'm intent on learning that very thing. Which I will do as soon as Ermion stops hindering my investigation. Don't concern yourself with him. Druids have little trust for mages. But Ermion's heart is in the right place. Am I right to assume he does not know you seek Ciri? It's of no concern to him. As I thought. At any rate, Art Skellig's my isle. You have my permission to investigate as you see fit. Thank you. No need. I swore an oath once. I aim to keep it. Anvil, tell the druid I must speak to him. At the usual spot. I have one more matter to broach. My children. You remember, Yalma? Well, he swore an oath to kill the giant of Unthik, set off and has yet to return. But as Ceres announced, that she's to set off on an adventure of her own. Got it in her head that Udalric is not mad, but cursed. Giants. They've been extinct for ages. Anyone actually seen the one on Undvik? Aye. Dozens of refugees have. The giant drove everyone off the isle. I've welcomed what remains of Clan Tordorach here and Artskelleg. I heard a rumor that an unnatural frost gripped Undvik before the giant appeared. It is true. At any rate, Yalmor decided to kill the giant and give the isle back to its people. A deed worthy of a king, he believes. My son gathered a hearty crew at the new port. They were to sail to Undvik. Then travel on foot to Oska, the village. But that many lads should have killed the giant long ago. Thus, I thought to ask you. You should start at the new port. Ask around. Hjalmar might have told someone there his plans. Take it Ceres wants to lift the curse. There's no curse to speak of. Ceres has decided she must match Hjalmar and sort out a deed worthy of a queen. Think she might need my help? You did plan to ask me for it. Why? The thing is, I don't trust Ulrich further than I can spit. <laughs> Ceres won't listen to me, or her brother. Yet confronted by a professional who will explain why she's mistaken, she just might come to her senses. 
So, yes. I ask that you explain things to her. And bring her back. Can't help wondering. Got no plans to vie for the crown yourself? Think a good number of the Jarls would support you. A good number? Those opposed would be fierce, rabid. Madman Lugas would sooner see a Nilfgaardian on the throne. Besides, a man should know when to step aside. Hand the tiller to the youth among us. If either Yalmar or Ceres need help, I'll help them. I thank you. Now that we're done thanking one another, let's get to work. We must determine if Ciri is still on Ardskellig. I'll change into travel attire and find you. Head south. The anomaly we should investigate destroyed a stretch of forest along the shore of the bay. A successful feast on all counts, Krak. I will see you later. Here we go. Some amazing quests that we can do. Uh. Well, I'm gonna save here. Uh, I need to wake up early, so uh, the the episodes will get longer again uh, as soon as I've gotten you know gotten to work a little bit. But yeah, for now, let's save here. Um, that's our new save. So make sure you subscribe with notifications on so you do not miss any episodes. I'll uh, do my best to make them long and, you know, as like often as possible. So I'll catch you guys tomorrow. I wish you a good one and thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.